even more bullish sentiment. It seems like every day there's more bullish sentiment coming out. So do you agree with this forecast from this Vanguard survey that the market's going to see a five and a half return, 5.5% uh, return over the next 12 months? Well, it's, it's really hard because we're caught between two contra contradicting forces in terms of on one side, we've got disinflation and economic surprises that are very positive. And on the other, you've still got the central bank outlook and this worry over recession. And I think, you know, we've seen equities be remarkably strong. And that's in part justified because, you know, it's also policy path dependent, like 2022 was policy path dependent. In 2022, equities went down because we got massive tightening from central banks globally. And now markets are moving in anticipation of hiking ending before we get cuts. And even if we don't get cuts until 2024, that means we're past peak tightening velocity this cycle. Um, so yes, we've had kind of a drift up in terminal expectations, but they've largely been around 100 bit range for the past 10 months. And you've had other positive things feed into that as well, right? You've got dollar okay. weakness or even just a range bound dollar. So it's, it's quite hard right now. Yeah, a lot of people pointing to the dollar's weakness, especially in July. I believe it's down about two and a half percent in July alone. So despite the soft uh, futures today on the back of those Netflix and Tesla results, the market's on really a remarkable run. So for you and your clients, how are you advising them? Is now the time to rebalance portfolios or to take some money off the table or profit take? How do you view this upcoming period? Because you mentioned the Fed decisions and central bank decisions. We are expecting more hikes here in the U.S., uh, maybe two, at least definitely one, according to consensus. Yeah, so right now we're in this really, really tricky scenario where the market is telling you that everything is, is okay, right? In terms of if you look at economic surprises, they're very positive. Disinflation is definitely a tailwind for risk assets. And there's this risk that because investors went into 2022, 2023 underexposed, okay. that is going into 2023. So, um, Skylar, how are you yeah. advising clients to deal with this risk? Are you taking some money off the table? Are you putting more money into treasuries? Obviously, a very safe investment. Yeah, so we have a cautious stance where we're mildly overweight equities because we don't want to miss out on this rally. Um, and recession seems to be pushed out by the fact that the economy has been more resilient to higher rates than we initially thought. Um, and so, you know, we tweaked our equity exposure within regions in terms of we're shifting more to the U.S. and away from Europe, but we're still having to some, have some kind of overweight because the risk is with the underinvestment going into 2023, um, you have a risk of a, a, a squeeze upwards. Rising commodity prices, something we're going to be talking about later in the show, specifically wheat. And we've also seen a bit of a boost when it comes to oil. Does that change any of your theses when it comes to equities? I don't think it really does in terms of if you look at how much different markets are pricing, soft landing, hard landing, et cetera. Um, commodities, I think, are the most worried about a hard landing. But they're also kind of feeding off of what's happening in China in terms of the rebound we've seen hasn't been as good as most markets expected. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of feeding into that. You're also seeing issues in, in Russia, Ukraine come to the fore. But that stuff isn't as, as necessary or as impactful in equity markets, I don't think.